The Air Sweeper is only one of two defenses that were added separately into the game without a new Town Hall, with the only other one being the Bomb Tower. The Air Sweeper has completely changed the game when it comes to air attacks, and today we'll be going over the impact of the Air Sweeper on Clash of Clans and just why it was so game changing, despite it not having received any new updates in the last 6 years. The Air Sweeper was added in April of 2015 and there's only one of them, which was unlockable at Town Hall 6. The Air Sweeper was extremely unique because it was the only defense that didn't do any damage in the game. Instead, it just pushed air troops back with a gust of wind. And while on paper it just seems kind of pointless, the Air Sweeper would go on to become, in my opinion, the best defense against air troops in the game. And this was an extremely important addition to the game. First of all, you had the air army just absolutely taking over the game past Tunnel 7, with the main ones being the dragons and balloons combo or the Lava Hounds and Balloons combo. The current defenses in the game just weren't all that strong enough to counter them and everything just felt a bit weak. So that man Supercell had to find a way to balance them. So instead of trying to nerf the troops that were super OP or trying to buff the other defenses in the game, they just ended up adding a whole new defense, which ended up being the Air Sweeper. But in a way, the air sweeper was both a nerf to the air troops and a buff to the defenses, which I think is a genius move by Supercell. It nerfs the air troops because it slows them down and makes them do less damage overall as they have to spend time making up the lost distance and make up the time in between the attack cooldowns that were disturbed by the air sweepers. And this was also a buff to the defenses as it gave them more time to attack the troops which let them do even more damage. The air sweepers will be unlocked at Tunnel 6, but it wasn't really until Tunnel 7 that they would really start being useful. And Supercell noticed just how good the air sweepers were and how much of an impact they had. So just two months later, they added a second air sweeper that could be unlocked at Tunnel 9. And for the last few years, the game has stayed at just two air sweepers, which is crazy considering we're at Town Hall 16 now, despite there only being 10 Town Halls when the second air sweeper came out. But another thing that the air sweepers were really good for, that I haven't talked about yet, was with countering the Queen Walk. This strategy was also obviously really popular at the time, and it was even stronger than it is today, because back then the healers didn't have as many nerfs to them. But the air sweepers helped nerf it because it would push the healers back, which would add moments where the queen wasn't being healed, and overall this causes her to die quicker and deal less damage. And the second air sweeper at tunnels 9 and 10 also just helped with this even more since people had to be more careful when planning their attack. And the same also obviously goes for the air armies as well. The two air sweepers added a new element to the game, which obviously made people have to redesign their bases so that the air sweepers would fit in. And there were a ton of different approaches people could take with this. One strategy was towards the outer side of the base to slow down the initial push, but soon enough people had realized that this just wasn't the way to go. And now air sweepers are primarily just put near the town hall or the core of the base. This is because at the core is where there's going to be the most DPS from your defenses, so slowing down the troops over there is the most important place as that lets the defenses do the most damage. And if someone doesn't plan their attack right, then just a single air sweeper can ruin the attack. People also generally put them near air defenses so that they're able to hit them since they deal the most damage, but you also have to be really careful since people could just lightning spell both the air sweeper and the air defense in one go. So this was riskier, but if someone wasn't using lightning spells, then it could be extremely powerful. And this strategy really just wouldn't change at all over the years, and it's still like this to this day. But it would really be around the addition of Tunnel 12 that the Air Sweeper suddenly became even more important. And that is because of the Electro Dragons. Realistically, it's more of a Tunnel 11 thing, since that's when you can actually unlock them, but it was with the Tunnel 12 update in June of 2018 that the E-Drags were even added to the game. Also, by this point, the Air Sweeper was up to level 7, which is the highest it would ever go even to this day. The Air Sweeper will be especially effective against the Electro Dragons, which are arguably the most OP slash annoying troops in the game. The big downside to them is their slow flying speed and long pauses between attacks, 
so that air supers are really effective against them because they just fly slow in general and they can delay them attacking by a lot because their attacks take so long to charge. So every time they get pushed back, it resets and they have to go through it again. And it can take a few goes before they actually get their attack off. And this is what makes the air supers the number one biggest threat to the Electro Dragons at tunnels 11 to 12. Since people can just destroy all four air defenses with the lightning spells due to them getting reworked. But another trick that I haven't explicitly talked about is the balloons. They're also extremely slow and get affected a ton by the air supers, which is also a big reason why the air supers are considered so good because balloons are probably the most key and important troop in a majority of air attacks. One way people try to counter the air supers is with haste and raid spells, since both of them increase the movement speed of all troops. And sometimes those are what really make sure balloons can even get past because otherwise the balloons just wouldn't make it and the attack would be ruined. And and past tunnel 12, the overall usage of air troops had declined a little bit, and this is due to numerous reasons that I have talked about in multiple other videos. But one of those reasons is also the air sweeper, but it's a bit more indirect. You see, at the higher town hall levels, you just have so many other defenses and variables, such as the scatter shots, monoliths, spell towers, and I suppose now the new combined defenses at town hall 16. These just add so many more things for players to consider compared to the previous town halls where it was really just the air sweepers and air defenses that people had to worry about when it came to the air attacks. So with these new defenses plus the air sweepers which just enhanced all those other defenses, air armies slowly started drying out higher up. But obviously all the main air armies were still usable but it just took a lot more skill and planning to actually pull it off. So, now that we've talked about pretty much how the air supers affected the game, I wanted to actually look into something else about them, and that is the fact that there haven't been any real changes to them in over 6 years. The last update was just them getting level 7, which was only one new level, and the only other change before that was the addition of the second air sweeper, which I talked about earlier. So, why isn't Supercell doing anything new with them, considering we've gotten 6 new town halls now? Well, the answer is that the air sweepers are honestly just already too good. I mean, if you look at it from the upgrade point of view, there's only so much more they can add to it before it just becomes way too powerful, either through the range or the force that it pushes the troops away. And a lot of people have also said that Supercell should add a third air sweeper at around the top tunnel levels, especially with the addition of tunnel 16. But if they do this, then there will 100% be a new meta where people just put their air sweepers in a triangle formation, which allows them to cover over 70% of the base. And at that point, I think it will be way more OP than it already is, and will just be horrible for air attacks. So, overall, I'd say that the air sweepers have just been perfectly balanced since the day they came out, and they have changed the game for the better by making air attacks harder, since I honestly just can't imagine what the game would be like if the air sweepers just didn't exist, since they are single-handedly the reason that air attacks didn't just fully take over the game.